first I went to my principal and asked if it was okay if we did this and I assured him that I would take care of everything. So he was like fine with that. And initially contact either either the superintendent or the principal. Um, tell them about the benefits of the program um, and how easy it is. Because one of the things about the Recycle Rally is there is no negative to it. Um, everything about it is positive. The more you do, the more benefit you get. The way we got the head custodian involved, we were able to show him how recycling would not only help the students, but would help his staff as well, help keep our school clean. There's so many good suggestions on the website. Oh my gosh, there's so much. So I would continually share that stuff with the teachers and email them out just as suggestions that they might want to maybe try to work into a lesson that they're doing. I used a lot of the materials your website had. We did every contest we could. We did the recycling steps and I had them join in with me so they could see all the benefits that recycling would bring. Trying to get the teachers to help each other also supports us with our recycling. And they started to see the benefits from it. They are really becoming more supportive and they come out there on Fridays, how can I help her? I can give you 10 minutes. The little lunch totes that we could order through the program, that was a huge uh, incentive. Those I got for the teachers actually to get them to inspire the kids. Uh, whatever classrooms brought in the most, the teachers won the little lunch totes and they liked that. Adults also worked really hard for the t-shirts. We got t-shirts for a lot of the adults. When we first started, the pushback that I received was the unknown. My administration has always been supportive, but they were not sure of the undertaking of what we were going to take on. And they were great. And I made sure I showed them the website. I showed them the different schools that have recycled and all the benefits. The first step I took to broaden the involvement in school was I had contests. I used the gift cards from Recycle Rally as prizes. We put it on the announcements, we put it on our newsletters, and it went out so people slowly started bringing the recycling in and they realized that, hey, recycling's kind of cool and I can win prizes at the same time. I have um, certain days where the kids will go pick up the bottles and cans from the homerooms. So they get a card with like a teacher name, that's kind of their hall pass, they get the green bin, they bring it to my room, my science lab, and they sort the plastics, the number ones, the number twos, and the aluminum. To get the students involved and the parents that happen to be in the building during the morning announcements, we do announce how many pounds of recycling we may have collected that day. We also announce which grade level won, so they know that they have their extra recess for the day. We use the fourth grade to help us and they're so passionate because they're like in charge of the school as fourth graders. We wanted them to feel empowered. In every school, there is not one child that cannot participate in this. Do the checklist. Find out if all these things on your already existing checklist is there. Everything you need to do to recycle within your own school is available online. I suggest that you just be creative, keep coming up with ideas that keep people interested and show people that what you're doing is a positive and a good thing. Send some little reminders and things like that because um, I know, you know, the information gets lost or you start forgetting about it. So a lot of reminders, it's just constantly reminding and keeping the interest is really a big help when you're starting a program. We created a recycle rally committee. Once the fourth grade students collected the recyclables, we would go down to the custodian's hallway and we would help sort it and clean whatever needed to be cleaned so it wasn't left just on the custodians because they have their own job to do. Having the recycle rally really made them have pride in themselves and their school. And that is something that you know you can't get by you know doing a worksheet. Having a good parent community support is key. I like to hand things out at the beginning of the school year to say, hi, we, we collect bottles and cans and, you know, to send 
often information home from the school. To get parents involved, we started with our PTA president. By getting their support, they were able to generate more support from the PTAs. I engaged parents with recycling through the contest, and then because I recycle in my classroom, my students will go home and they will force their parents to recycle. When we have football games, there's kids on the loudspeaker that talk about, don't forget there's recycling bins by the concession stands. So it has become almost expected behavior, not just something that we're gonna ancillarily do. Once we started to educate the parents and educate the students and educate the staff of what we were doing and the importance behind it, it went from being this, you know, what they call trashy to all of a sudden it's like, oh, can we bring more, you know, and the whole campus was filled and they loved to see all the bags that were up in the front because they saw the importance behind it. It has become part of our culture at our school.